hello there, this is Bakar Shabanu with Mac Automation Tips. Hey, I'm back with another video about Amazing Marvin. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use what's called custom squares to get set up with Amazing Marvin. So stick around and check it out. So yes, I'm back with another video here about Amazing Marvin because I find this application amazing. It's serious. It really has been helping me to get through my daily tasks as well as more importantly get through the projects that I'm set up um, in this manager and I just really love all the features that exist in this application. Amazing Marvin has so many features in here that might be a little daunting for some people to get started with it and so what I thought I would do was create a kind of a workflow template that you can actually um, import into your Amazing Marvin and start using it um, with some things that I'm going to show you today. So one of the things that you know when you're in Amazing Marvin there's a lot a lot of features in there and when you get ready to set it up you're going to kind of go you're going to be clicking to those features a lot to get things set up and so one of those features is called custom squares and these are my custom squares here and I have changed them several times and rearranged them to kind of fit my particular workflow and so you'll understand these better as I get more into it so basically um, custom squares are links to internal parts of Amazing Marvin but you also can create custom squares for external links as well so it's, it's a quick way to get at different things without using keyboard shortcuts or what have you. And, you know, you can just kind of click on these little squares here to get to different parts. You can also create something similar and put, you know, these icons at the bottom menu over here. Or you can put them in this kind of... Um, skinny with this what's called a skinny sidebar you can do that here so you can arrange these things any way that you want and you'll find that you're going to spend time just kind of really moving things around until it gets situated for you quite honestly i spent about a month just kind of getting amazing marvin to where i want it to be so let's get back to, to squares here so the reason why i say using these squares if you set the squares up right you can be able to kind of link the stuff really quickly and not use keyboard shortcuts and not having to go up into the menu item all the time to get to this stuff it, you know that's you know unless you that's the way you want to do it that's fine but because Mason Marvin has a lot of uh, keyboard shortcuts for for all his features almost but I just prefer to have the squares here so if this is something you find useful you might want to check it out so let me go to what's called strategy which is the thing you're going to go to a lot and these are all the strategies here in Amazing Marvin and it has you know a lot of different settings and just all kinds of stuff I, I'm, so I'm going to be trying to do more videos to show you more but let's scroll down to um, what's called custom squares here and you can click on here and you, you can click on this setting here or you can just click right on the button there and then you go to settings and you see all the squares that I have here, right? These are the ones that I've set up and I've moved them around. And you can also hide them or you can delete them. But then if you want to add one, you go to add a new item. And then here's all the items that you can add. And a lot of them here are internal links to different things like my day, main view, plain day, strategy, strategies, stats, what have you. These have become more familiar with, to you as you begin to use Amazing Marvin. So that's how you set up uh, the squares here. So now, what I decided to do, what you're seeing right now is the desktop version of Amazing Marvin. And I'm in what's called my demo mode. So I set it up to filter out certain tasks and, and other things in there that I don't want to show. Um, so that's really great about Amazing Marvin. You can kind of create these little filters, right? So you can have maybe one, you know, filter or one global filter for uh, your work and then one for your personal side, personal life, what have you. But anyway, you can set that up. But that's, you know, we'll get to that later. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to use this. First off, you need to get an Amazing Marvin account, which is about 30-day free trial, right? And then once you go in there and open it up, if you open it up in the desktop version or the web version, you're going to go to the menu here and 
Then you're going to go to Workflow Template. All right. And then we're going to go down to uh, Import Export here. I'm go to um, the Workflow Builder here. And the workflow, workflow Builder is nothing but a sandbox version of Marvin. So that means in the sandbox version, you really don't, you can't save anything in the sandbox version. Basically what you're doing is going through and just experimenting and exploring Marvin, right? And then you can just kind of get some ideas. So then when you're ready to go in and go into your uh, Marvin account, the, you know, the actual uh, Marvin setup for, for you, then you can, you can either import a template into the, into your account or you can just start fresh. But anyway, it's really simple to go and do this building here. So you're going to click and it's going to open up. Right. And this is pretty much how Marvin looks when it first gets started. Right. And so this so basically you can start building from this. And so now what you're going to we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to Uh, go down to again to workflow templates You're gonna go to import export and then you're gonna go to load a workflow All right, and then over here what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, I'm going to import this workflow. I created workflow template Open that up then it says activate. All right. And then you want to get rid of that. And then we're going to close this out here. Now notice one thing first. If you refresh the page, it will start over again. So you want to make sure that you don't refresh the page while you're working this. Because it does not save anything. You're just, again, exploring. So we're going to close this out. And then you'll see right here. These are the um, these are the custom squares that I made for this particular template. Okay, and so I think this is a great way to get started using Amazing Marvin because you have some of these squares set up for you. You don't have to go set them up. You can kind of get started and play around with them. Now, some of these squares are not going to be useful until you have some tasks created. So they're not, you know, they're, but some of them are useful even before you start creating tasks. So let me, so here we know we have the strategies link right here. And then you have, on this one, you have the master list. And the master list is pretty much like categories or what, what they call categories or folders for all your projects and your tasks, right? So you might want to set up your master list with different categories. So for example, home, um, then you can go to, let's see, uh, work. Okay. Um, or you might have like um, read later stuff or something. So you have these different categories, right? And then you can click on these and then you can create, you can add tasks to this category. You can add another, you can add a subcategory to it. And you can also add a project. So you can, you know, you can do those things. So let's quickly add a little something here. Test, uh, test, task. Okay. I'm not going to go into how you can you know utilize setting up tasks, but just want to put that in there for right now. I'll click away from it. I might want to add a timer to it, 10 seconds or something like that, 10 minutes. And then we're going to close this out, close out the master list. And I'm, I'm going to show you the reason why I did that is because another button in here is called created today. So say, for example, you create a task and it's kind of you know, if you get where you put it or say you don't want to go back into the master list to find it, you can just go right here and you see that these, this is a, what's called a smart, this is a, this is based on a smart list or um, setup that filters for all tasks created today, right? And then here's another one. Um, so here's your master list. We already seen that one. Another one is your smart list and that clicks to all your smart list. Now, I left some of the smart um, list or smart items 
uh, filters that I created in here. So you can you can delete these if you any ones that you don't think you need, just delete them out of there. But I left them in there anyway because smart lists are a little time consuming to get started. So basically you just kind of go through the smart list and kind of get a sense of how they work. Maybe I'll do another video on smart lists as well. And the developers for Amazing Marvin have a lot of good, really, really short videos about all the all, nearly all the features inside of Amazing Marvin. And so every time that you, you know you want to learn about some learn how to use something, you go into your strategy here. And so you click on this one and it'll give you a video. So it doesn't all of them don't have videos, but it'll give you a video or a description and a how to as well. Okay. So let's go back to our squares here. Um, another one is for planning. Um, here's you can you can plan and, and put tasks and projects according to the month or according to uh, the, the week. And basically when you put those tasks in this part, you're not really scheduling them. You're just putting them where you think you might, when you might want to use it. And again, this is for a later video, but this is, and you can read about weekly planners and stuff like that and how it's used. But I put a link to that because it's, you know, something you can use there. And then another thing is um, a link to is called a project overview. So when you start creating projects and the projects in Marvin, like a little containers. And so those projects will show up um, all up in here, right? Let me see if I can find, let me go into my settings here. So here, like, so your projects will look like, uh, look like this right here. So they're like, they're like little containers, right? And you click on them and you see you have all your, all your tasks inside that, inside that project. So the reason, so I created a, a, a link to, uh, so you can view all the projects that you create in Marvin, right? So that's another link there. Another one, you can also identify um, projects as current. So these right now, these are two of my current projects. I have two other ones there, but it's not showing because we're in demo mode. But uh, this is what I really like about Marvin is because you have, you can keep, you know, three or four or five current projects up here and you can always have them to see and you can see the progress you're making as you work through those projects because you know how it is sometimes you don't always finish a project in one day you know you might it might take several days it might take a couple of weeks so you can have them put up here and you won't forget them so that's your current projects here another thing they have another link i put is to to day notes archive so here you, you can set up and this is another strategy you can set up um you know to write some some daily notes up here so let me just put uh put that in there and some okay and so then when i click on this you see that's one of my that's my first daily note right there so the more that you add these all your all your different notes for there will appear in this archive which is really neat i really like that i, I like that feature there um let me see another a couple other ones like if you want to do search if you know you can search all your your tasks all your projects right here, all your categories, really good search uh, feature there to get started. Uh, another one is called Plan Day. And basically this is, you will see this when you open up your Marvin, it asks you to plan your day. And so here in this part over here, this how this is um, links to uh, to your master list, right? And, and it might, it'll be a different order than what you see here, but you know, this, it links to your master list, your smart list, any other kind of individual smart list that you want to put here and you utilize this this master smart list so that you can use you can go to uh, what's called let's see where is that at the weekly yeah the weekly scheduler so so for so for example i want to have a weekly scheduler open and you can move this you can actually spread this across more um and basically so if you have some list here so for example uh, we only have one task right now, but see I want to take this and I say I want to do it um, on Monday I can put it in there to put to do this on Monday uh, Well, it's Friday. I don't know why I was putting on Friday. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's Friday because it's the day It's putting on the day's date. But anyway, so you can slide them in in there and You can you know, you can do all kinds of stuff here I'm not going to go into detail about how to use this right now because that's yet another video but my point is is that you will be able to access all your tasks and um, projects 
from here in this little kind of planner here, right? And you can break them up based on how you want. So you usually, what you want to do is learn how to use the smart tab or the smart list really well. Learn how to use that. Learn how to use the categories because then that way you can, you can access all your tasks and projects and be able to plan from week to week here. And you can also do something similar if you want to plan for the entire month, but I just kind of plan from basically from week to week. But I also have lots of recurring tasks that get populated in here automatically for me from week to, from day to day, from week to week, right? So again, that's another video about recurring tasks. You schedule right here, and you have a today view, which is, uh, today view is like, this is the front view of the current day. And you can break up your tasks into a lot of different categories here, for example. And so, that, again, this is another video about this, too. You can break, you can group your tasks by uh, morning, afternoon, evening. You can do a custom section, which I'm going to do a video about the custom section, which is really, really great. Because I started off using the morning, afternoon, evening tasks, but I switched to the custom section because it's really powerful, too. So I'm going to do another video about that. But you can group them by projects, by priorities, what have you. Lots of stuff in here. I mean, you're gonna you're gonna be spending about a, about a month just really really getting getting to know this thing, right? So these are the custom um, squares that I created, and you know if you find this useful, just go ahead and and go through the point uh, through the steps of you know importing it in, into it. And if you go and if you want to use it to get started in your a Marvin, you know, your, your real Marvin account, right? Not the builder. You can do that and you can just change it up any way you want. And you can also replace it. So if say you, you, you started creating a, a, a you know, a, a, a interface, uh, a workflow inside your Marvin and you're not quite sure, you say, I want to change it up. You can go, you can save it somewhere and then you can um, try a new one or you can go back and reload it, all right? And just like I pointed out in the last video, let's see, the Amazing Marvin also has these kind of templates for um, other task managers, kind of the, the interface of other task managers like uh, three, uh, th Things 3, Todoist, Wonderlist. So if you like some of these kind of layouts here, you can start with one of those as well. So you can activate that. And give it a second. Okay, and you see, so then we click this away, and this is kind of the, the things three set up, right? And it's the same kind of thing. You can you can actually go in here and add um, the squares if you wanted to. You can do all those kind of things. Um, you just go to your features, and then you just start adding the things that you want there. So I hope that kind of makes sense to you. Um, if you're, again, if you're interested in Amazing Marvel, definitely ask questions in the comment section below. Let me know that you want to see more of these videos, and I appreciate the time, and I hope you do get started with Amazing Marvel. Thanks a lot.